something else? How do I know that my request is authentic? Like from my mind, I can desire like all kinds of things, like a new car or like a huge house. Here's I have like a judgment that is it really like authentic or maybe my heart desires something else? This is a really good question, isn't it? Because you're living and have lived a lot of life experience, you've asked for a lot of things and you've asked repeatedly for some and in this vibrational reality in this gestation and gathering cooperative components what your inner being has noticed it's not the reason for it but your inner being has noticed that many of the things that you're asking for are about the same thing you want a new car for many reasons for exhilaration for a sense of well-being for maybe a little bit of safety and security for dependability for comfort for steadying yourself for preparing yourself for the things that really matter that new car you could judge it fantasful and greedy or you could acknowledge it as a point of stability that is the true nature of your being more money which is about freedom it's about getting to explore your passions it's about being free to move in the direction of what calls you we can't think of any more important vibrational reasons and you see your vortex is able to synthesize all of that out because over time when you were playing on the playground as a boy you were asking for some of these things you wanted what you called fairness and you wanted respect and you wanted to both give it and get it you wanted alignment you wanted life force so much of it was already there your vortex existed even before you came into your body Do you know that your vibrational reality existed even before you came into your body and the very first requests you just put them there you see and so it's not possible for your inner being to hold and promote what isn't good for you or isn't by your standards what you consider to be good there are so many ways of going about things Esther was contemplating with a friend yesterday about something like parenting two parents talking with each other about the way to raise their children and maybe disagreeing with each other and arguing or maybe a neighborhood committee debating and arguing with each other about how things should be done in their neighborhood but down there in the depths or core of all of them are the same things we want well-being for our family we want well-being for each other and even though we have different ideas of how to go about it there is this core intention at the heart of things no matter how big our differences seem to be out here on the surface so if you get back to that core intentions we know that our words are not enough because words don't teach it's only life experience that teaches but we want you to know that what's in your vortex is authentic and it is real and it is yours and you have put it there and the best of what you have asked for is there calling you to the completion of it it's what creation is you see so let's just take another minute so here's this vortex and we've been saying to you things like find a way to get into the vortex do the processes and get into the vortex meditate stop doing that thing that you're doing that's keeping you out of the vortex and go into the vortex we've been saying get on your high flying disc we've tried to find many different ways to get you to get up to speed or release the resistance so that you can be in sync with who you really are so now we're saying to you so here is this vibrational reality that is emanating a signal and here you are far away from it because you're angry or far away from it because you're worried in fact you're so tired you can hardly even stay awake and then you meditate and for a minute you're closer to it and then you go back to your normal day but here it is and then the next day you meditate so you're closer to it and then you go back to your normal day but it stays steady and then you meditate and because you've managed to quiet your mind some of what your vortex is and knows is received by you and now you're changed you're not the same the mix of your human physical frequency is now different and then you go back to your normal world but you are more sensitive now and then you meditate again and again and before you know it the gap between you and you doesn't happen as often and is in vibrational alignment more often and now 
you begin to feel the rhythm of your inner being. You begin to feel the confidence that you ask for, not necessarily the car, but the confidence. You feel the satisfaction of feeling good in your body. You feel an enthusiasm that you haven't been feeling, not the car, but an enthusiasm in your body that's satisfying. Ideas begin to come to you, not the car, but whatever you're ready for begins to come, not the car yet, but you're not focused upon the absence of the car. That's the difference. You're not beating the drum of the absence of the car. You're not stuck over there in step one. Now you're focused upon step three. So these thoughts turn to things and now rendezvous are happening and exhilarating experiences are happening. And you find yourself saying to people, I don't even feel like the same person. And they'll say, well, what changed? And you say, I can't tell you, you'll think I'm weird. What changed? Well, I stopped beating the drum of the things that were bothering me. Well, how'd you do that? Well, I stopped thinking about them. Well, how'd you do that? Well, I started thinking about other things. Well, what other things? Really quiet things, really subtle things, really basic things, really general things, things that didn't stir me up. You know, when you go home and there are those things that you just don't bring up to your dad, <laughs> there's just those topics you stay off and then somebody doesn't go, ah, I told you, don't bring that up. Well, you're fighting those battles with yourself. There are just topics that you just shouldn't bring up with yourself. You just don't need to stir those things up because when you stir them up, it keeps you from being in alignment. And as more time goes by and you don't stir them up, they dissipate into nothingness. They no longer have any connection or attachment to you because you are vibrationally no longer activating them. So you started over in this new vibrational place. And these are the things that have precedence. These are the things that have priority. These are the things that have real depth. These are the things that have real staying power. And then your life begins to reflect more of those things. You see, it's a satisfaction factor you're reaching for. We think this is a really good time for a segment of refreshment. Thank you.